Any pilot will tell you that flying a plane is tough. Flying a World War II bomber, though, was a different ballgame altogether. Keith Youngblood is part of a Liberty Foundation team that gives commercial flying tours of a restored B-17 flying fortress identical to the iconic Memphis Bell. I spoke with him on the bomber's recent trip to Arizona and found out what it's like to get behind the yoke. If you think about what a drone can do today, you know, uh, you know, a guy sitting in a in a chair, hundreds of miles away from the airplane or thousands of miles away from the airplane, and and you know, send a missile in to do more precisely what those guys, uh, you know, had to do for eight, ten, twelve hours. Youngblood said that the B-17 crews took comfort in the fact that they were flying the safest aircraft in the Army Air Corps. There's a, a really famous photo of a German fighter. He, he was coming in and he went through the airplane basically. You know, it's really a remarkable aircraft. So many guys got to come home uh, because of how tough this particular aircraft is. Add to that indestructibility a dozen 50 caliber machine guns and you have a fighting chance. Pilot Ron Gauss says it's not like the movies though. Bang, 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 bang. They didn't fire like that. It was just quick first because a fighter that's moving at between 350 and 400 miles an hour, you can see that if something passed you out there at 500 miles an hour, how long do you think you're going to have to shoot at it? Flying fortress or no, Youngblood says sometimes your survival came down to where you sat on the bomber. Yeah, there's, if a bullet, a bullet goes and go right through here, through you, through, and then out the other side. I mean, there's just, people think that, you know, it's a big ship and it's got all this metal to it. And in reality, airplanes are incredibly fragile in the wrong direction. In the end, the crew of the original Memphis Bell seemed to beat the odds, walking away without a scratch each of the Bell's 25 missions. Youngblood says his tours help keep the legend alive. We can go visit uh, the battlefields and physically stand where many battles took place, but we can never really go visit their battlefields. So this is, the, uh, by doing the rides, this is the closest we can kind of get to that. Hopefully everyone, you know, kind of gets a little bit of perspective of what it was like for these men.